Boston. I am going to go pick up my baggage and then I am going to head over to the Everett Arena to see some of the setup. So I'm excited to get some of that for you. <laughs> So we are setting up, um, well I'm not setting up, but people are setting up, but this wall is insane. It has everything I think I want. I'm going to flip the camera around and show you guys. Can we just, there's another Nyx behind there. There are two Nyx. We have Marvel Point One. Riri, journey into the mystery. This wall is the most epic wall I've seen, just period, in my entire comic collecting life. Okay, I am holding, I can't believe I'm holding this. I can't get it, it's not for me, but it's on the wall. It is a nine, graded at a nine, a nine two. It's so pretty. I am freaking out, like, <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> so I'm in my hotel room. I got upgraded and have like two beds. It's a little desk so I could do work. Um, I am going to freshen up. I just grabbed some food with Jeff from Comic Dunes and I am going to head back and record some more of the setting up process so I can share it with you all. I'm really excited. I already have like a small stack going of books. This is... Oh, I am going to be throwing money at people, I feel. <laughs> but I'm really excited. Um, so can't wait to show you more. I am with <laughs> Sammy and Nerdy Girl. They are setting up their booth right now, which is super awesome. And then behind them, we have some comics. The setup is super cool. So you can see, you can see there's many booths that are coming and have yet to like be set up, but I'm excited to see like what it looks like all the way like finished. And I'm excited to see Skeleton Keys and Nerdy Girls booth once it's all put together. Oh my gosh, look at those bugs. all these golden age this is little giant comics it is like the most insane like they have absolutely everything you want I haven't even looked anywhere else and I have a cold stack it's absolute madness like 
All right, I'm taking a quick, not break, but I went upstairs to my hotel room to grab my mic because I am going to interview Jason who started Little Giant Comics. So I'm really excited to get to sit down and chat with him and just hear his story. And um, yeah, it's been such a fun day so far. I am here with Karen. I'm so excited. Hi, I am too. What are, okay, so I know you don't have a list, but what are you maybe looking for would be like, you'd get really excited yeah. if you saw it in this like short box right here, um, which is X-Men by the way. <laughs> Silver Age X-Men, definitely. I would like to walk away with an X-Men one-on-one today. Ooh. I don't know if it's gonna happen. It's gonna but, happen. Um, this place has like Polaris, everything. Polaris, maybe? Oh, I would like that. to get We'll, we'll find see. the beat up copies. Yeah. <laughs> the beat up Doesn't copies. Doesn't need to be high grade. That <laughs> <laughs> would be fine with whatever. <laughs> but, yeah. but I'm I'm excited to show you all everything that's going. We're going to I'll film some wall books yeah. so that you guys can see and I will also film like as I'm going through the stacks so that way. It's Spider Woman's up there too. <laughs> yeah, some Spider Woman's. I oh. Marvel. Oh my goodness. I don't even want to know. My word. <laughs> <laughs> We're at Skeleton Key and Nerdy Girl. Oh, yeah. Like the legit, like, the not fake ones. Hi. <laughs> 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 These badass ice sculptures right here for Skeleton Key. And nerdy girl, I love it, and they have fantastic books. <laughs> I think I become immune to the books I have. You know what I mean? And I look right. Like, <laughs> one of my favorite moments I mean, ever was when Samson won, Captain America, and one. she's sitting at my desk and she's like, Stop I am so excited. I'm so excited. I am also going, so I can't wait to have Carrie and Aaron there. What am I gonna wear? <laughs> <laughs> so some more little giant comics. Okay. Yeah. There's our adventures. <laughs>
I was so confused because it was a Connecticut phone. And I was like, hello? home now and I'm so happy that I got to show you all the setup of Little Giant Comic Show, a little bit of my hunting, as well as meeting some of my friends like Carrie and Aaron, Jobs, who are absolutely the sweetest people, seeing Danielle and Sammy, um, and being able to show even their setup was so much fun. I have never seen a show be constructed before, so it was really cool getting behind the scenes, getting to interview Jason. Um, and I have to say a huge thank you to Comic Dunes for sending me to the Little Giant Comic Show so that I can film content for you all and really get to experience something I haven't quite experienced before. I've only ever gone to C2E2, and so this was such an amazing opportunity to see a show that was really dedicated to people who loved comics and collected comics. And though C2E2 and Comic Cons are definitely catered to people who enjoy comic books. It also reaches a wider audience. It allows people to do cosplay and have really fun, safe spaces to do that and shine. And I really love Comic Cons for that reason. But this was just really on another level to go hunting. It just, it was absolutely amazing. I had so much fun. It's definitely a show that I would want to go back to yearly. If you've never been, I highly recommend adding it to your con or show list. If you're if you can, just because if you're into comics and you're looking for something, prior to the show, everyone was telling me, if you're looking for a book, you will find it in this room. And they were not wrong. I walked in and even just Little Giant Comics booth was like amazing. And then you're walking around and you're seeing everyone else's booth and there's just amazing deals to be made. Um, there was a booth that had like 30% off of a lot of comics that I was hunting for personally and so that was really amazing. I'm going to end up uploading a haul video really soon I promise and you'll get to see the thick stack that I <laughs> uh, made So and brought home with me. So overall it was really just such a good time. I was able to also go to the Jim Steranko dinner which was really just a huge honor to be among artists that have made such a huge impact in the community. I overall just met so many people that I really connected with and had such a great time. And I just kind of can't wait to keep doing things like this. Um, let me know what more content you want. This was my first time going to a con or a show and filming it. So I feel like there's definitely more to be to kind of grow in that area, but definitely leave a comment and tell me what more you would like to see. This won't be the last show that I'm going to this year. Um, I definitely will be at C2E2 and there's a chance that I might be going to some other shows. So tell me what you really enjoyed. Did you really like the interview with Jason? If you haven't seen that, definitely go check it out. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you want more of the people in the community, let me know. If you want more me scanning through boxes, tell me. I'm really excited to continue this journey of being in the community and going out to shows and filming and creating content and I would love more than anything to hear all your thoughts on that and so keep your eyes peeled for the haul video it'll be a good one like and subscribe if you're enjoying my content and thanks for watching